It says, that says the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk ye therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. That is to say, go, ask for good ways. Which is a good way? When it comes to fulfilling an assignment, which is the way? Which is a good way of fulfilling an assignment? Then he says, go to the old paths. That is to say, go to the people that have been in the past and see how they fulfill the assignment. And who do we have in the past other than our patriarchs? Look unto Abraham, your father. Unto Sarah that gave birth to you. I called him when he was alone. And I blessed him and I increased him. So when we are, going, when we are told to go to, the, to look for the old paths, go to the old paths and ask for the good way. The best places to go is to the patriarchs of faith. And in all of them, Father Abraham, Father Isaac, and Jacob, you find that they were able to take hold of their destinies and fulfill their assignment because they were divinely guided. They were directed by God. Abraham at 70, 75. Abraham, come out from your country, from your father's house. Come out from your people. And I'll take you to a land. Go to a land that I'll show you. Go to a land that I'll show you. By that divine direction, step by step, step by step, day by day, Abraham, who was going to finish as a failure, as a mess, who was going to finish as a nobody, he was able to take hold of his destiny, assignment, and indeed he became the father of nations. His assignment was an assignment to become a father of nations by divine direction. Now enter Isaac his son. We see in Genesis 26, there's a big famine in the land, drought. There is no rain anywhere. Everybody is running down to Egypt. Everybody is running down to Egypt. But while he's thinking about following every other person, then God comes and tells him, no, 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 no. I have a different way for you. You shall remain in this land. Genesis 26 verse 1. You shall remain in this land. You shall sow in this land. Don't follow everybody. Because there is a way that seems good, but the end is destruction. It appears like it's a good way to follow everyone to Egypt. But I have a different way for you. You shall remain in the land. And he planted in the same land, the same season. When people are getting nothing, he was able to harvest a hundredfold. He became strong and exceedingly strong. He became stronger than an entire nation. He was divinely guided. Jacob was a man. He was a man. He was an individual. Until the time he was able to get divine direction. In the house of Laban, the wicked man, he was about to end up as a nobody. As a frustrated fellow. But when he received direction by God, he was turned from a man into a nation. He was turned from a man into a nation. You will not finish the way you are right now. I, I see you taking hold of your destiny in Jesus' mighty name. I see you becoming what you're supposed to become in this life. Divine direction. Somebody say divine direction. When you are directed by God, you are actually helped by God. When God is giving you direction, that is how you are receiving his help. The person that is guided by God is a man well helped by God. That is how God helps us. Because somebody is asking, how does God help me? I thought God was just going to bring material things. Maybe money in my pocket. Just all of a sudden. Pay attention to divine direction. And the good thing is, 
God is not quiet about your life. God is not silent about your life. God is always ever speaking. For God speaketh once, twice. It is man who does not perceive. God is ever speaking. If there be any challenge, it is me that have not positioned myself to hear him. Habakkuk said, I will now put myself on the tower. I shall stand upon my tower and I shall hear what he shall say unto me. So if you have not heard, it's because you have not listened. I will now stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me. If I have not heard, it's not that God has not spoken. It is me that have not listened. 